Next up is M2. M2 is a block that's going to be worked from the book. It's relatively straightforward. We have a couple things going on here. At its core, it's a nine patch. So you've got three rows that you assemble and then put together all as one. However, the center block is an on point assembly. So pretend that this isn't here as we start here. So we're going to look at this as an on point and we're going to baste and put this into a row, and put this into a row, and then this into a row, and then assemble this center block, and then we're going to put the rectangles on each side before we do the corner triangles and the rectangle rows as well. So I have my block all set up, and we have arrow pieces. So the arrow pieces, we're going to base the points first to give them the sharpest attempt, and then we're going to do the side, the short sides, and then I do the long sides last. Uh, of course, this is just the standard square with two, you know, each opposite sides and opposite sides. The triangles here, I'm going to baste the, hypo uh, the hypotenuse first and then the legs so that the tags go away so that it doesn't complicate this center um, assembly. When I get to these, I'm going to baste them. I'm going to put these down first and then this is going to be last so that the tags will go out so they don't interfere with this. So I am going to start with this center. I'm going to do this section here first. I'll do these three and then assemble them into a row. So I basted my pieces and you want to make sure that if you've got a directional fabric like I do that you don't mix up the locations. So I'm going to make sure that yep I've got straight there and straight there. So I will attach these into one row. So I've assembled my row and my fabric is going in the same direction. So the next thing I need to do is baste this center section and attach this into the next row. So I've basted my pieces for the next row, but I ran into a little bit of an issue because I have a directional fabric. So let me flip this over to the proper side. This is this little square and I forgot which way was up because I marked it and so I need to flip this over and see. Okay, so this needs to go like this. So this, oh crap, see I did it again. It's real easy for this to get messed up. So if I do this, flip it, and now I'm going to tape it immediately to one of these so I don't screw this up. And then I'm going to verify it one more time before I stick it to this so that I can make sure that my fabric is the right direction because this matters which way it goes. But I just wanted to mention that. So I have attached my center row together and I will flip this here so that I can make sure that it goes together right with the other piece. So I'm going to attach this to this row so I can keep the direction the proper way. I've got my two rows together and my directions are the same on those. So I'm going to put this to the side and baste and connect this row. So I've got my third row all assembled and the um, fabric goes in the same direction. I've got my pieces taped so that I can connect them to this bit and make this one big square. So I've attached my row to the other two and I have my center completed. So the next part, this is, so this is my center. The next part is to add the rectangles. So I'm going to base these. I'm going to base the short sides first and then the long sides. And then I'll be able to attach them to my center. My rectangles are now basted and I have uh, this one taped for attachment on the side. And I will get this row completed. Got my rectangles attached to my center square and my center section is completed. So I'm going to set this aside and then I've got my 
rows, I got two of these rows, one on the top and one on the bottom. So I've got the half square triangle unit and the rectangle in the center. So I'm going to baste and attach these to each other so then I can baste this and make it one row. I've got my squares all sewn together and the direction on the fabric is correct for the position. So now I'm going to attach these to my rectangle and make the row. So I've got my bottom row all assembled and the direction of the fabric is still correct. I will attach this to the bottom of my middle row. Got my bottom row attached to the center and everything is still in the right direction. So I'm going to set this aside and baste and attach these to each other to make the top row. So I've connected my half square triangle units on the side, basted my center rectangle, and I'm ready to make the row. I've connected my pieces for my top row, and now it's just a matter of connecting it to the center section. I've attached my top row to the other two, and now my M2 block has been completed.